Okay, and welcome back to War Thunder with Mad Kite. Today we're going to take out one of my favourite planes, which is the P-47D Thunderbolt. Oh, I actually quite like the earlier versions, which they don't have in this, at least yet, of the Razorbacks. But anyway, this is quite a nice plane. Today I'm also doing something a bit different. I have dug out the old joystick, and I've played around configuring it, and I'm going to have a go piloting this thing with joystick as I do wonder if a lot of the p things people complain about with it is because it's using the instructor and it will instructor wastes a lot of the energy. Now one thing to notice with the P47 is it really likes to be at high altitude to be at its best. This is top speed is at 8200 meters where say to a 109G it's at 6000 meters or an F4 625 so it really wants to be at high altitude which doesn't benefit it in most situations. But it is a very good ground attacker, but I'm going to start my first go with this, and it's the first time I'm going to have tried to play this game online with a joystick, with it doing air combat in historical battles. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Now, hmm, let's see, there's a lot of people playing Russian at the moment. There's still not that many playing German. Here we go, where are we going to go? It's a shame there's not more playing Japanese, we almost never get... Yeah, we're going to Germans. We almost never ever get games against the Japanese. Now, I've noticed flying around with it with the joystick. You can actually sort of do much tighter, much sharper manoeuvres, but it's the aiming and pointing at your enemy to hit anything which uh, which is really difficult. It's actually easier to do from Pilot, sort of in cockpit view. Right, we want omnipurpose. 500 metres. 45 minutes fuel. And we'll go. Right, get off the ground. I'm not running full controls here, and if you notice this mouse in the middle, it sort of sets the trim, which is quite a nice feature, I think. I'm going to turn... Whoop. I'm going to climb off to the right of this. I'm going to go up with this Spitfire's going. Let's see. Oh, we're on a Russian one, so we won't have any idea what anyone's talking about. So. Flying on. Weave, that should be. Day. Exclamation mark. So yeah, this the P forty seven. I've been trying it out in historical battles. It doesn't seem to do very well because it, firstly, it likes to be at really high altitude. What sort of climb rate we're we getting? It should be. Now this is interesting. Another thing. I mean, on ninety eight percent throttle, I'm not wepping it can't quite get it to go between that and 100 but my climb rate here I'm slowly creeping up I'm going to see what we can maintain on this This has sort of like auto, they've put in an auto trim for the joystick. Anyway, where was I going to say about that? I was going to say the P47, in historical battles you usually do better 
to um, to use it as a ground attack other than air assault. It does. Oh, there's the enemy. Look up there. It does better as a ground attacker. I've done a few missions where I tried it out as for ground attack, and it did really well. It's very good at that. And if you're going to do that, mouse aim is probably better. But let's take it up and see what we can do. Now I want to get to quite an altitude before I bother trying to engage the oof. You see, this is one of the problems. It's very sensitive on the pitch. You have to use very small joystick inputs on pitch. Roll. Perhaps we can do with a bit more sensitivity on roll. We'll just set yourself climbing. Maybe I'll fiddle with that. Right, uh, controls. Roll sensitivity. I think we'll put that right up a bit. Pitch sensitivity. It's the pitch seems way too sensitive on these aircraft. They need oh no. Ooh. The roll is really quite gentle on most of them. It works quite well the roll controls, but the pitch it's it's so hypersensitive and there's no easy way of calming it down. Wasting energy here. Yeah, let's keep climbing. Where am I going? They want to reply to me. I don't think any of them speak English. Nice thing with this is it is one of the uh, first service aircraft to have superchargers. And the advantage of that, where with the uh, superchargers, what am I saying? Turbochargers. And the nice thing with having a turbocharger is it keeps you, gives you steady pressure all the way up to really high altitude. Which is which? When you look at, say, a climb, the uh, climb speed for something with a supercharger, you get up to the altitude where you can knock it up to the next stage, and it'll uh, you'll get less and less and less climb rate, and then it will jump up again. You get this sort of zigzag line. Where with this, it's a steady line, so you have full climb speed at all, as much as you're going to get at any altitude, which is a very very nice feature. At 109, let's lock on to him. Didn't want to do that. Oh, that's nice, it has a graphics error, so bullets keep coming out of my gun things. Oh well, anyway, that's interesting. So we're going in. Is you can't use the camera very easy because I use my joystick with my right hand and I also use my mouse with my right hand. So this is looking like a disastrous game already. Um, oh dear. Anyway. Absolutely, joystick controls aren't brilliant in this. It's mainly all down to the, the pitch control. Let's 
you have to keep on top of the joystick all the time. The one below me there, that can be quite an interesting target. Oops, didn't want that at all. No! <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's come on. Let's switch to this. Well, I hit someone. Hooray! to hold your speed quite well with this film. It's trying to aim in a straight line. Zoom in on him. Let's change to this one. Oh. I can't flick around with the camera while I'm doing this. So I can't see what's Let's going on. Oh, that's it, I'm doomed. Well, that was a bit of a disaster. But I do like the way it handles the ability to turn with it. Anyway, I'm going to go back. And I think I'm going to tinker some more with that. Okay, we're going to have another go now. This time we're going to take out the P-47 Thunderbolt in historical battles and have another go at uh, uh, some air attack with the joystick. Fiddle with the joystick a bit more. I've got a force feedback joystick so I've added a bit more of a centering force because that will probably help quite a lot. Also helps keep it centered when you're not fiddling with it all the time. The worst thing has to be the, the view controls. It's very difficult to to really um, focus in with the camera very well. I think we'll go for air to air because that's the, the hardest one of the hardest things to do, so oh, there are a lot of people only taking that today. Adding the centering force definitely helps quite a lot. You can see our climb right. It's fairly good. See, this is the thing, you can do this with the camera, but you need to use the mouse. Uh, it doesn't spring back using the hat. I don't know if there's any options for that camera. Speed. Gonna view. You really want a head tracking thing for this. This thing is like a virtual joystick, you can put it about like this. But 
I'm not sure if it's worth it. The only trouble if you don't have it is if you do anything with the mouse. It does all this, and I prefer to have it so you can decouple the mouse like this. That's that's what I want. I want that. Now, why can't I have a button that does that? What button is that? Well, it's right mouse button. F8. I've signed it to F8. Maybe I should put it on my different button. I don't know. So I must be going on about the buttons. Yeah, we're going to try and climb up. Let's see what we can do. It's time. I don't think we're going to get too fussy about going to super high altitude. Zoom. We'll see how well we can retain our speed diving on things. I want to target that 109. No. Why did I have to use the mouse for that? See, this is nice. That'd be nicer if it wasn't zoomed in when you did it. We have taken the initiative. They haven't really sorted out the, the view controls kind of zoom. Say let's get in on it. Uh, let's see what we can do in a P forty seven. We're getting some real speed up here. Get away. Attack the enemy. Go one, one, one. Let me go here. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. What are we doing? Ooh, and it's a whipping again. Is that 109? Yeah. It's certainly a lot trickier to aim, you have to set up your shots. But the speed. So, whoops. I didn't want to take my target off him. Level out. Shut up. Who's about? Oh, 
and it's got some things. I don't suppose it's done too bad for trying to do air combat in a P-47. It's not the greatest at it. It is my... Oh, there's one. Right, no, it's F-8. We want F-8. Roll it round. It's coming on in. Let's see what we can get up in speed. Got him, he's got him, that is for you. He's going to be traffic him. Watch out for a sec Yes, look at that. Down he's going. Speeding on and on. <laughs> well, that's what you call tunnel vision while flying. down now. Oh, I'm dead. I've been snuck up on. No. <laughs> well, there we go. The, the biggest problem I can see with the joystick isn't so much the flying the joystick. I mean, I'm fairly used to doing joystick flying. It's the, it's the fiddling with the view. It's the really awful view controls. If you if I just had a head tracker, it would be absolutely fantastic. Never mind. That's trying to do P forty seven flying with a joystick. So next time, perhaps we'll take out something else. Perhaps we'll take out uh, the old P fifty one. Until next time, it's Mad Kite House.